Aloha, I'm Gary and I am going to be doc talking about the color principles. Um, to start off, I am going to be answering different questions and I'm going to end my presentation by um, giving some good and bad examples of using colors, especially as we are uh, designing a website page. To start off, what are warm colors? Okay, you have actually a... Um, um, an example of uh, different warm colors that uh, that we do have. So as we carry here, warm colors are based on yellows, oranges, browns, ye uh, yellows, greens. So yeah, well you can actually we don't actually need to uh, make a complicated uh, explanation. You actually can see that these colors are actually warm um, when when you when you see them. Then you have the cool colors, and then you have some example of cool colors over here, uh, from blue uh, all the way to uh, pink. You have blue green, you have uh, greens, you have pink. These colors are more uh, energetic, and they are more cool um, than uh, warm colors. And then finally, we have the natural colors over here. We do have an example of natural colors here, and neutral is actually um, it's equal to zero like there's no um, more on one side than the other than the other side it's actually like without colors as, as it says here natural colors such as uh, ivory tall black gray white these are actually uh, appears like uh, there's no colors at all okay so uh, we can define natural colors uh, by um, without colors Let's move on. What is a RGB? It's actually a stamp. Uh, it stands for red, green, blue, and you have an example of on the bottom of the, uh, the screen here, which are which are actually the three uh, primary colors of the system, and is produced with with light. So RGB is used on television, on computer monitors, and any kind of uh, off screen. So uh, especially uh, even with the screen that I'm, I'm using right now. Then, what is uh, CMYK? Uh, it stands for Magneta, Yellow, and Key, which is black. And you have a, an example on the bottom here uh, of different uh, colors that, uh, that we, we do have um, from the CMYK. And uh, it's as it says here, it's created by pig uh, pigments and is used in print. Then, what role does uh, contrast influence color? Um, I actually have uh, found three main uh, reason, uh, three main roles that uh, influence color uh, does. Uh, the first one, it can evoke different emotion and reaction when you see the colors that we're using. So, uh, so you actually not gonna have the same emotion for uh, the blue. I mean the the warm colors uh, versus the the, the cool colors, there's different emotion, and then the second point, the second bullet point will be is a keep uh, is a key to keeping text readable. It's true actually, and we'll see some example uh, later because we need to have um, to to match the the color of the background and the color of the text, and the text should be readable um, when you have a background, and then it affect the topic of the website. So it depend on it depends on what um, topic uh, the website will be. Uh, the color can really affect, it can make the topic stronger or it can make the topic uh, uh, really weak uh, because uh, the colors can actually support or destroy the image of the topic or the image of the, the website. Okay. How does color influence emotional responses? So I actually have some example over here uh, from the, read the readings that we have. Um, the, the main um, the main things that uh, it can influence is the way the background the relationship between the background and the, um, the text. For example, here you can you can barely uh, read it. Yeah, you can read uh, barely read uh, the text because of the background or because of the text of the color. It, it depends. It um, it depends of uh, which one is bad and which one is uh, which one is better. So the three of them actually you can still read it, but you cannot read as. Um, 
as good as you read, uh, for example, the, the, the very uh, top of the, the page, the questions that I put here. So there's really a um, uh, strong relationship between the, the words, the text, and the background. And then um, you can actually see that the, the cars can, like, like I said earlier, it can uh, evoke um, different emotion. And usually when you have read, it's like, um, when you have read, it's more um, a color that means you are um, maybe angry or mad uh, versus the orange where it is evoke more happiness with yellow. And then I like this one when it's more sad. This, this kind of color is, is more sad. Anyway, so hopefully it was um, um, clear enough and I did, uh, hopefully uh, we can understand um, more, I mean better uh, with this um, video that I made. So thank you, mahalo.